We're in Chichwick Park and it's along the Adams River and it's where the sockeye salmon come to spawn. Uh, actually other species as well, but it's most known for the salute to the sockeye, which is every dominant uh, years, every four years. Well, there's, there's been some things that have affected the flow of the river that have straightened out the river and so there's not as many spawning channels. So that's been an issue is the river flowing faster and there's just not the areas for the salmon to spawn. In the middle of spawning season there was water, but in the middle of January, February, middle of winter time, the water levels go down and all these side channel habitat where fish had spawned quite literally were drying up and so we had a disaster. Uh, the First Nations always talked about this as the, the land of many islands and um, in 2017 we didn't have islands anymore. Everything was uh, basically uh, into one channel and what we've done is come back and actually uh, let the river go back out to the islands. Through use of excavators, we were able to remove the bed load or the accumulated gravel that was plugging off all the side channel habitat. And so over a three week period when the river was at its lowest point, we removed close to 600 dump truck loads of action material and made adjustments to naturalize the system and basically reintroduce the water into the side channels. We were looking at just shy of five kilometers of actual wetted corridor that we've brought life back to. That was the great thing about this project is that often we see the challenges that the fish face but we can't do anything about it and with this case this was a major challenge for the fish and uh, the Pacific Salmon Foundation was key to making this project actually happen. Uh, without them, quite literally, we'd be looking at a dry creek bed right here. Uh, instead, we're actually seeing, you know, a, how do you put it, a beautiful uh, piece of river here ready for the salmon to return.